Oh, hello. My name is Carl Larson. I'm an interpretive ranger for Keweenaw National Historical Park in Calumet, Michigan. Did you know one of Earth's largest lava flows is right here in the Keweenaw Peninsula? Indeed it is, and I'll talk about it, as well as the Portage Lake volcanics that occurred here, as we take a trip back in time to explore the Keweenaw Peninsula. Imagine that the National Park Service has a time machine and we've just traveled 1.1 billion years into our past. What we discover is a much different landscape. And in some places, it looks similar to this. One of the most striking features besides the lava was the complete absence of trees or any plant or animal life on land. The atmosphere had only a fraction of the oxygen it has today Lava formed massive seas of molten basalt, and on the horizon, there were mountains off to the south and southeast. The lava flows were very much like the ones that flow on Hawaii today. For the most part, they were calm eruptions with basalt flowing over the landscape, creating the rippled appearance of Pahoehoe lava. Because basalt is denser than the surrounding continental crust, it started to sink under its own weight, creating depressions. During lulls and eruptions, sediments eroded from the higher elevations, made their way down, and were deposited in these depressions. Then eruptions started again, and sandwiched the sediments. Some of these sediments later became known as conglomerates, so after about two million years of nearly steady eruptions, the lava stopped flowing. What we are left with is hundreds of lava layers, and around 20 conglomerate layers. One particular lava layer is extremely large. In fact, it is one of the world's largest lava flows. At its thickest, it is around 1,640 feet. So it must have existed as a magma sea for hundreds if not a thousand years before it finally solidified. I'm actually standing on it right now. This, the greenstone flow, is a prominent feature in the Keweenaw landscape. It kind of serves as a backbone for the peninsula. So why should I care? This lava flow and other associated formations form a great deal of our current landscape and account for most of the area's waterfalls. They also create vantage points for stunning views such as here on the Greenstone Flow as well as on Brockway Mountain. They create a variety of habitat for a local fauna and can actually even affect the weather by encouraging lake effect clouds to drop their snow load. So geology affects our lives more than people realize. It only takes a few moments of thought to make a connection why geology matters to me. And hopefully, you'll take a few moments to discover why it matters to you.